I'm excited. I'm ready to go. <laughs> to get an apron would mean the world to me. Welcome. First name? I'm Samantha. From where? New Jersey. How old are you? 18. Wow, one of the youngest. Yes. Uh, what are you cooking, Samantha? A mini quadruple layer carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. We've got five minutes to get this dish done. Your uh, love for food comes from where? It comes from my parents. I'm really into nutrition, and I hope to study that when I go to college next year. What are you doing? I put raspberries in some water that has some sugar in it just to get rid of that tartness just a little. Nice. Are we done? Yes. All set. So basil with the carrot cake, huh? Yes. Relax. Don't look so nervous. <laughs> He doesn't bite. <laughs> and he loves desserts. Okay, good. He <laughs> doesn't bite, just the cake. <laughs> it's got a great mouthfeel. It's very moist. Thank you. Hmm. Love carrot cake. <laughs> um, how long have you been baking? I guess I've been baking since I was about 10. Right. It's very, very light. So much lighter than it looks. Was that on purpose? Uh, yes. A um, little bit more cream cheese, maybe, as you stack? Yeah. Joe. Samantha, I think your cake is actually quite good. So based on that, I'm going to say yes. I'd like to see what else you can do in this competition. Thank you. <laughs> Graham. You know, it's moist. It's got some good technique. Joe be like, uh, I want to say yes, but actually no, because, you know, uh, I, it is illegal for me to be around you. <laughs> I am legally obligated not to be in a 500 feet of someone of your age. <laughs> to it. However, I don't think it's master chef quality. So for me, it's a no. Whoa, Graham hit that with a oh, no. Uh, who are you here with? My parents and my sister and my brother. Can you go and get them, please? Sure, I'll go get please? them. Thank, Thank you. you. They want to see you guys. <laughs> There's no is shot Gordo is going to fucking bring people in. Bring the parents to fucking kill her in front of the family. <laughs> Mum, dad, little sis, brother, welcome. Thank no you. shot. Uh, we're all stuck in between a rock and a hard place. This competition is fierce and it's highly competitive. Don't let the bow distract you. She can do it. Oh, this is really hard. Um, Samantha, young, talented, tenacious. I would like to see you. Oh, come on, dude. Are you serious? They fucking put an ad break right here. Like, did they make this specifically for me to run a top of the hour ad break right now to juice up the fucking content and run a 60 second ad break literally right this moment? At the fucking top of the hour? I mean, this is synchronicity. This is kismet. I mean... I mean, he's gonna... He, he's gonna literally be like, I would like to see her next year or something. No shot. He's gonna be like, she's not ready yet. But listen, if you want to see what he actually does say, because I'm gonna run this uh, ad break right now, then all you need to do is either become a gift sub recipient. Okay, like Tongue Punch Gifted 5. Thank you for that. Or if you're not lucky, you know, subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. That's right. Here's the one minute break now. Let's take a look. It's the moment of truth for 18-year-old high school seniors. King Crimson! Thank you for the five. Cake. I'm going to say yes. For me, it's a no. With the and Jayton Dewey. Thank you for the five. Gordon Gordon Ramsay to decide her master chef fate. Oh, this is really hard. Um, Samantha, young, talented, tenacious. Okay, should we wait? Should we wait for him? No. I would like to see you. 
Ewig, thank you for the five years of subs. Come back next year. No, I called it. Fucking called it. Quite ready. Fucking called it. Fucking called it. Fucking called it. Absolutely fucking called it. Dude, no, she wasn't good enough. They fucking juiced up her backstory. This is metagaming, yes, but they juiced up her backstory so you fucking feel bad, okay? You feel bad for her. That's why the fuck Gordo has literal fucking content dome. Gordo has content dome. Construction Steve asking you like, oh, did she make it? Guess what, bitch, you should have subscribed if you wanted to know if she made it or not. Yeah, he called it so he could juice up the fucking content, juice up the hype, and kill her in front of her fucking family. You know, you're new to this, and I love the passion. What I'd like to see you do is to spend more time in the kitchen, go on that journey, but start off and climb slowly. I think you will grow. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We test dabs, I give the five, give the subs. But I'm super inspired to continue. This is America's next Master Chef next year. Thank you. Well, Samantha. Also, for the people saying like, "Oh, was it Max 18, dude?" Max was popping the fuck off. Let's be real. Like, I mean, I hated him, but he was like, he was a piece of shit. But he like came in with like insane food. You know what I mean? Insane dishes. You didn't. If Max came in 18 years old, made a fucking carrot cake, they would have done the same shit. Master Chef dream is put on hold. Others hit all the right notes. La, 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 la. You got your heart. I'm a gifted sub, by the way. Feel free to ban. Wait, why would I do that? <laughs> You're like a perfectly fine chatter. What the fuck? Why would I ban you? Weirdo. Not on your sleeve, but on the plate. Yes to the apron. Thank you. And another three Master Chef aprons okay. follow. I'm here to win this competition. Will 26-year-old Ryan join them? He learned everything he knows about food from living in Manhattan's Upper East Side. This is my time. I'm ready. I used to be spending thousands of dollars a month on these nice, fancy, frou-frou restaurants, but I realized to myself at a certain point, I can go... Bro, how did this motherfucker live in the Upper East Side at the age of 26 and he's unemployed and eating thousands of dollars of food? This is Max Part 2, dude. This is Max Point oh. This is Max 2.0. Get the fuck out of here. This is a rich kid, straight up. For those of you who don't know, Upper East Side is like, I mean, depending on how upper you're going, but is one of the wealthiest parts of Manhattan. Go home and I can do this on my own. And not only can I do this at home, I can do it better than they're doing it. Pressure cooking is the best. I could do something that would take three hours to braise in 30 minutes. I'm the flavor elevator. I'm gonna keep raising the bar. And then once we get to the top, going over the top, America. And first name is? Ryan. You've got five minutes to blow us away. What are you cooking for us today? Red wine pressure cooked short ribs with corn pudding, roasted parsnips, and glazed cipollini onions. What do you do for a living? Um, right now, I'm not working. So you've been unemployed for how long? About a year and a half. It wasn't that I couldn't find a job, Gordon. It's that I just didn't find what, exactly what I wanted to do yet. Uh, Ryan, most people don't have that luxury. What are you doing? I'm using the ring mold to, to make it a nicer presentation. I know that those people have a lot of skill, but I just don't think that they've been working nearly as hard as I've been working. Excuse me, you've been out of a job for 18 months. Working in the kitchen is what I meant. OK, not another ring. I just wanted to make the sauce fall out perfectly in a circle. But hold on, you're putting sauce in a ring? Just I wanted it to come out to a perfect circle when I lay it down. Ryan, you've had too much time on your hands. <laughs> it's nice to see you're not sticking a short rib in a ring. I don't have any rings that size. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Okay. Short ribs. In an hour. In an hour, pressure cooker. That's intense. It is intense. All right. Did break apart with a spoon. They're cooked beautifully. Thank you very much, Graham. The dudes that wear a sweatband on their forearms are the ones you gotta watch out for. Kristen did the same shit. True, dude. You are literally a sweat lord. Who the fuck wears a sweatband? It's like Myth wearing a fucking shooting uh, sleeve when he's playing video games, dude. You gotta watch out. 
I can tell you're bored, because you've got very fancy in areas where you don't need to be fancy. I'll lay off the rings, I promise. I'm ready. I know Bro, I it feels like they were like last season, Max was popping off as a character and Ben was popping off as a character. So they literally found the, the, the symbio like the, the synthesis. Okay. They literally were like, let's combine the two and make one character out of it. Do this. I'm not entirely convinced. Then I'm slightly pissed off with the pretentiousness of the way you present food. Short rib sauce doesn't get ringed out in a cutter. I've never seen anything so stupid in all my life. So for me, it's a no. The short ribs could have been better, but it was ambitious to try, and you did get them cooked through in an hour. The sauce, it should have been glazed over that, but it was still a good sauce. I am going to give you a yes. Thank you very much. You're on the Master of Wiki in Max's section? Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Link it to me right now. I'm on the Master Chef Wiki for Max's section? Are you serious? Cram. Joe. Sure. It's a little bit going on instinct because I think you're right there for me. You're like right in the middle. I'm ready to represent Master Chef to the best of my ability. It's up to you. Ryan, a 26-year-old from Manhattan, is hoping his red wine short ribs are good enough to earn him a Master Chef apron. I think you're right there for me. You're like right in the middle. With a yes. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I never said that. What is that? It's fucked up that you guys said that. Yes, and a no. I, I, I disavow that. comes down to Joe. Step around here a second. I mean, at this point, for me, if I give you an apron, I'm kind of like putting my name on your lapel. I don't know if I want to hang my hat there, you know, like... It's a good place to hang your hat, Joe. Dude, Joe is 100% going to say yes. This is a rich kid. Joe is a rich kid. Like... Remember how much he fucking fought for Max, too? He has to say yes, dude. Like, that's rich kid solidarity. You trust me, I'm telling you, I can cook. To me. I'm about to flavor blast my way to the top. So Ryan takes a spot in the next round of the competition. We yeah. Can these next unique home cooks join him? Oops, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Well, Gordon Ramsay, I watch you all the time. From where? I'm actually from Baltimore, but I love doing this accent. It's my favorite thing. I'm a former cheerleader. I interview serial killers, and I try to understand why they do it. I teach belly dancing. I also do impressions. Oh, oh. Well, hello, beautiful. This is called the Hip Swiss. Master Chef is the show. I can win. This I know. Oh, hey, darling. Graham, you're a spicy man. You oh. spoke to me. Kelly, don't get upset, darling. We haven't tasted the food yet. I know. <laughs> and this oh. is the figure eight. And then we have the snake. It's like a Beyonce video. It tastes like a pig's toenail. Yeah, I f***ed that one up. I got one hour sleep last night because I was so in this stupid dress. It's worth it. It looks fabulous. I'm ready to take the criticism. It's coming. Give me an N. N. Give me an O. O. Sorry. No. It's a no. <laughs> So another group of home cooks are sent packing. Let's see if 24-year-old Josh from Mississippi can measure up. I'm seven feet tall, and I'm a championship basketball player. Oh. I played at Tougaloo College in Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, King. When people look at me, King. they usually ask me, oh, do you play ball, do you shoot hoops? I'm like, nah, I shoot onions into skillets. My passion is cooking, and 
it kind of transitions. That's tall solidarity, baby. He has to go. He has to go the way. He has to go to distance. If they fucking ban him, I'm going to be so pissed. From hooping to, to cooking. Yeah. Being an athlete and coming from an athletic background, we play to win, and I'm not settling for anything less than that. Chef. Welcome. Good to see you up there. Thank you. <laughs> First name? Josh. What are you cooking for us? I prepared shrimp etouffee with a little bit of jasmine rice. I'm going to fry up some shrimp for you. You've got five minutes. How old are you? 24. Wow, you're still growing. <laughs> King. Any uh, chance of NBA for you, or you missed that boat? Never missed the boat. I mean, I'm still young. My knee's still good. I could definitely do it. So what are you waiting for? I want to be a chef. That's why I'm here. Last two minutes. This is my heart. This is what I do. And hopefully you guys pick me to be your next master chef. That's it. Great. Etouffee. How would you rate that out of a 10? I would rate it a 10 and a half. You wow. know, yeah, of course. You saw a tall black man. You think Joe's not going to be like basketball? Of course, dude. I mean, that's like, that's, that's like the most expected. You know what I mean? Like, obviously. Yeah, NBA? Six foot two and you make me feel like <laughs> Danny DeVito. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got heart. Thank you. Without a doubt. You know, it looks like a restaurant dish. But more importantly, yeah, you cook like a pro. Good job. Thank you. Pretty good job. Thanks, sir. To be fair, it's not even like all that crazy. He's seven foot tall. Let's be real. And you cooked it down with the shells? Yes. Like most, most motherfuckers will say that's a waste of height if you're not playing basketball. Okay. Straight up. I, you can't. That's like, it's not even that racist for Joe. <laughs> I taught you how to make that. <laughs> me, I did it myself. This is all me, straight from the heart. See a little smile there. <laughs> Everybody's smiling. Don't get overexcited. We've laughed bigger guys than you out of here. <laughs> OK. Uh, you know, I didn't think it was going to taste as good as it did. Um, you've got passion, clearly. There's a talent there in that bowl. Uh, I'm a yes. Two words. Slam dunk. I think you can cook like, uh, like a badass. Congratulations. Congratulations. Do not step up. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> you crying, no, big just boy? A little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh. Man, just excited. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That was yummy. Oh. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> This is everything I dreamed of. If I could do what I love, instead of doing what everybody else wants me to do, I'm gonna do it. Can't nobody stop me. Dude, he is content, dude. Seven Coming foot. Up. Wow, <laughs> that is dope. The judges take a good look at themselves. Look at Joe, he looks like a granddad. <laughs> and just when they thought they'd seen it all. Wow. In the history of MasterChef, we've never had a blind contestant. So far, the competition has seen some spectacular successes. Slam dunk. And some epic failures. The worst dish in this competition so far. As the chase continues for a MasterChef apron, Shani comes to MasterChef from Seattle. But her cooking is grounded in her African roots. I am originally from Zimbabwe. And back home in Zimbabwe, girls are expected to know how to cook. So it's been a part of me my whole life. I don't really remember a time without me not cooking, me not being at the stove. Getting an apron means uh, the world to me. It'll be a dream come true, not only for me, but for my family as well. Hi. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Wait, is that true? Someone said the blind girl has an elevated sense of taste and smell. Is that actually true or are you fucking with me? First name is? Shami. Shami. Yep. Beautiful name. What are you cooking? I um, made a traditional Zimbabwean dish called sadza. Sadza. Ne huku, ne muriwo. When you eat it, you want to feel warm. And you're oh, cooking. no. That's like, look at Joe's face, dude. Look at Joe's fucking face right now. I mean, they all look, they all look devastated, okay? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> 